English Premier League is back and boy, what an absolute cracker of a weekend. The opening match saw Arsenal and Leicester trade blows before the Gunners edged out the match 4-3. The action continued on Saturday when Liverpool and Watford shared six goals. There's never a dull moment in the Premier League and if the opening weekend is anything to go by, we are in for a treat. The Manchester clubs stake their claim for the trophy while Londoners, Arsenal and Spurs also began with a win. The champions faltered at the hands of Burnley while Liverpool squandered a lead late on. So what did we find out from the first weekend of Premier League football? Here are five things that popped up after the teams made their first moves of the new season. Winning the Premier League is becoming a curse these days. Wait, what? Hear me out. Chelsea started their Premier League defence with a 3-2 defeat to Burnley after going down to 9 men in the latter stages of the game. Now throw back to Jose Mourinho's Chelsea who won the Premier League title but the campaign that followed ended in complete capitulation. Then came Leicester City and their dream campaign in where they won the Premier League. The dream turned into nightmares very soon as and led to the sacking of Claudio Ranieri. Now Antonio Conte, the current Chelsea manager, hasn't reached that level yet but the opening weekend is a clear, clear sign that things aren't well at Chelsea. They allegedly missed on Lukaku, obviously, and the forced signing of Nemanja Matis to Manchester United tells that things are not great off the pitch. And that is the reason I say that winning the title is slowly becoming a poison chalice. The Premier League, which boasted defenders like Martin Keon, Tony Adams, Gary Neville, Ashley Cole, Nemanja Vidic, Jamie Carragher, Sammy Hippia, has simply forgotten how to defend these days. Clean sheets are at such a premium these days. Sir Alex Ferguson once said, attack wins you games, but defense wins you titles. But this, this advice isn't paid much importance now. Today, most teams follow the policy of outscoring your opponents. Sadly, basic defending at set pieces is missing these days. You can see the evidence in the match of Watford against Liverpool where Liverpool failed to defend two corners and conceded goals. Now, Carragher said regarding the match that even if Liverpool buy Van Dijk, their basic problem is the setup by the coach Hergen Klopp and that is why it won't help this, this time world's best defender. Newcastle United, Huddersfield Town and Brighton and Hove Albion were promoted to the Premier League this season. Whilst Newcastle United had plenty of Premier League experience, the other two teams had a combined total of zero seasons in the Premier League. While Huddersfield Town played in England's top flight in 1972, Brighton, Hove and Albion had never been in England's top flight in their history. So how did they fare on the opening weekend of the Premier League? Well, let's see. First up were Huddersfield Town as they faced Crystal Palace. The newcomers to the league ran out comfortable 3-0 winners as record signing Steve Mooney scored a brace. Huddersfield Town ended the day on the top of the table and manager David Wagner said, you cannot moan if you play your first game in the top flight for 45 years and you win 3-0 away. Next up were Brighton and Hove Albion. They hosted Pep Guardiola's expensively bought Manchester City. Despite the difference in quality of the two teams, the Premier League dividends held Manchester City till the 7th minute but the visitors broke the deadlock through Sergio Aguero and the result was set when Luis Dung put the ball in his own net. A brave effort from Brighton Hove and hopefully they will improve or else as they are the bookies favourites to go back to the championship, that will be the result at the end of the season. Last up, were Rafael Benitez's Newcastle United. 
the champions in England's second year last season were up against Tottenham Hotspur who finished second in the Premier League. The match was even up by till the half time. But after that, John Joe Shelby's moronic moment when he stamped Del Alley leading to a red card changed the complexion of the game. Tottenham Hotspur ran out comfortable winners as they opened the scoring with Del Alley. Now this exactly isn't something that happened on a whim but the fact is the stock of English goalkeepers in the Premier League is rising rapidly. Now let's take a look at the goalkeepers that are number 1 at their clubs. Now Joe Hart the current England number 1 is at West Ham United. Ben Foster is at West Bromwich Albion. Tom Heaton is at Burnley who defeated Chelsea at the weekend. Jordan Pickford was signed for a record fee by Everton. Jack Butland is at Stoke City and Fraser Foster is at Southampton. Now it is great from an English perspective that six quality keepers are playing their trade in the top league of the country. Gareth Southgate, the current England manager would be absolutely delighted with the fact that these are quality keepers who are competing for the place in the England setup given the fact that this is a World Cup year. The original top 4 of the Premier League, Arsenal, Chelsea, Liverpool and Manchester United spent a lot of money on attacking options this summer and were looking for a good start in the Premier League. So how did the big money signings fare on their league debuts? Let's start with Arsenal and their fair striker Alexandre Lacazette. He had a dream start to his on his debut as he scored in the second minute against Leicester City. Now Arsenal fans couldn't have asked for more but the fact is he did went missing or for a bit of the second half but in the end had a decent outing though he has to go a long way to pay back Arsenal for the huge fees that they paid for him off to Liverpool next Egyptian Mo Salah was the big money signing for them and he did not disappoint in his debut against Watford He was a threat throughout the match and capped it off with a goal. But that goal wasn't enough for three points as Liverpool conceded a late goal and drew 3-3-0 with Watford. Next on the list is Chelsea's Alvaro Morata. The Spaniard did not start the match and by the time he came on the pitch Chelsea were three goals and a man down. But to his credit Morata did contribute with a goal and an assist as Chelsea lost 3-2 in the end. He's probably the only player that came off the match with some credit. Last but not the least Romelu Lukaku. The 24-year-old Belgian had a dream debut as he scored two goals against West Ham United as Manchester United ran out comfortable winners 4-0. The Belgian couldn't have asked for more and neither would have Jose Mourinho or the Manchester United fans that was the even opening weekend for you then the manchester teams are on the top of the table along with tottenham hotspur and huddersfield town who are in dreamland hope you enjoyed the weekend's action as well as the video please do not forget to like share and subscribe to my youtube channel until next time this is abhimanyu signing off